All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Um, as promised, we're going to be taking a second look at Vista Social now that it's been a week or two uh, since my original review, and it's had some time to really kind of digest uh, the account that I did sign up. I have two accounts, LearnWire YouTube channel and LearnWire Facebook uh, right over here. We're on the dashboard, and you can see that we have two profiles. I believe I have 10 profiles that I can add. Um, this is what it's going to look like. You can see like the latest um, videos that we've done. You can also see the stats uh, right away. Um, the Basically, how many comments and likes and so forth that you're getting on your uh, latest videos. You can click on one and you'll be able to look at it a little bit closer like that. You can also view this by clicking YouTube right over here. Um, or you can uh, click these little dots right over here and you can say um, view on YouTube right there as well. Um, it's fully connected. Uh, I believe you can even somehow, it says you can remove this post. Definitely don't wanna push the remove post button. Hopefully there is a, a alert or something um, that asks you, you know, double asks you basically to verify if that's really what you wanna do. Um, because I think you have given it publishing rights. And so you've gotta be careful what you're doing here. Uh, you can push this button over here if you on YouTube as well. So uh, pretty cool. Um, we can, what I thought was really cool is you can click on the calendar here and you can see all the different activities that we have done um, this month right here. Um, just all the different videos. We've been very, very active um, and so forth, right? So pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, we can come down. Obviously, we have, uh, before we go into the inbox, I'm going to show you that. That's where I'm going to spend most of the time. That's what you guys are the most interested in, how we can manage the comments and so forth using um, uh, Vista Social. Um, let's see over here. We'll go to reports. Let's see what kind of report we could possibly look at. Um, I'm going to go to run a report. Um, report builder, um, let's say run report, social media performance, post review, tasks, competitor. So let's go and look at social media performance and look what that would look like. So we have our social media performance. Uh, we can uh, choose it cross channel reports, Facebook pages and YouTube reports. So if we click on Facebook pages, we had two posts, we had uh, six impressions, we had no engagement. Um, obviously, um, I am lacking and not doing anything with Facebook. Um, if you guys think that uh, I should expand my brand uh, from LearnWire and really focus on building some more awareness and focus on Facebook and Twitter, um, and maybe creating shorts for YouTube shorts or, um, or TikTok, um, leave it in the comments below. If you think that I'm missing out on growing my brand by spending, because we also want to do things that, um, that make us money in our businesses, right? And spending my time um, repurposing all my content to other social networks um, needs to uh, do something for me, right? It needs to help grow the community and get my reviews out there and so forth. And so uh, if any of you have a lot of social media ex uh, experience, uh, that'd be awesome. I'm actually asking for your guys' help. Do you guys think that I should utilize that opportunity? Because for me, I like to spend my time on what I know works for me, which is YouTube. Um, kind of like that one. Uh, there's a lot of people that you would ask that are experts um, that would say, pick something and just run with it and you know don't get caught up in 10 different social um, networks and so forth just focus on what works for you but then there's also the other side of it too like you have your gary vaynerchuk that would say um, get your hands in every single social network that you possibly can think of and put as much content possible on all of those so there are different ways of looking at it and different perspectives and theories so what do you guys like um, tell me if you think i should um, start you know, doing more social media, build a, uh, the LearnWire uh, Facebook page, or maybe we should have a Facebook group um, that you guys can all join and so forth, right? But uh, I just have to keep in mind that that's one more thing that I would have to manage in my business. Um, we're going to come back over here. Let's look at the YouTube. We'll probably have a lot more to look at. And there you go. So you guys can see, look at the stats. That is super cool. And you can see that the, the channel is uh, just growing. Uh, this is the subscribers and it just keeps going, 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 going. Um, I believe I get about 30 um, subscribers a day organically. This is with no paid advertising or anything like that. 
Um, the new subscribers is 523 over the last uh, 30 days. It gives you the change. So it's actually, I really like this. This is stuff that you have to pay for with, um, if I come into my dashboard, I'll come into my dashboard and I'll click on channel audit right here. And this is also going to tell me, um, you know, like how my channel's doing the videos. Um, this is vidIQ, and I think that they really look at the content pieces that are doing good um, as well. But this um, right here, this chart right here, that's super, super cool. That's the audience growth. It's looking at subscribers and it will do a net change percent based on you know when you when you started using this um, you can change the dates over here that's really cool you can download the report uh, default report template um, and so forth right so pretty cool uh, tells us what our engagement was videos uh, 22 in the last 30 days and so forth so super super cool I like that report a lot Let's go to post performance um, and just see what we have over here. Um, I'm just going to look at YouTube, even though I know that that is, um, you know, where it, the engagement is going to be. So you have your posts, 22 um, impressions, engagement, engagement rate. Um, and then it will just tell you how, I guess, by how many posts per day right over here, post performance. And you can actually look at all of your videos. Um, the post and the impressions, the likes. So the impressions would probably be the views that you got. Um, and I did go on a stretch where um, I believe I had like eight videos or something like that, that, um, that got over a thousand views. And you can see most of my videos are now starting to get over a thousand views. So the channel is growing into another kind of, um, you know, another tier, if you will. Now my normal is my new normal is starting to be a thousand uh, views or more per video, which is super, super awesome. And then you'll get your comments right here. Can we click on this? No, we can't to kind of sort it. But um, but overall, pretty impressed with the reporting feature. Plus we have more reports we can pull. Plus you can come over here and you can um, build a report and so forth. So that's pretty cool too. Not gonna explore that, but um, we're gonna go in now and spend the time with the inbox. I'm just gonna select Facebook off and then you'll be able to see, um, and I apologize if your name's on here um, and you don't, and you don't, wish that it wasn't, but, um, I don't think you're going to care too much because you, if you're leaving a comment on YouTube, it is a public uh, comment that, um, thousands of people potentially could see publicly. And so I don't think that you would be offended or, or anything like that if I'm showing your name up here. Um, uh, but you'll basically come over here and, um, you'll have it. It's kind of thread based and I'm going to tell you, so let's see what the a mark all has read. Uh, we can refresh by pushing that button there and then we can go to unread comments or right here um, it's going to be thread based so right here we have one that says um, they just said on the right rank funny because i was using one this one for some time um, so i didn't respond to them reply to this message i'll say um, then we'll come back down here and i'll say cool uh thanks for the update and not really a whole lot to say right there, but that that's really cool um, that you bought that software um, be, be, because I didn't have a review for it yet. So totally cool. Um, then my comment is going to now come up here to show that I did reply to that particular one. Um, oh, no way. I did reply to that. Glad I could help right over here. And then honestly, not sure of the click through performance and output maybe an AI technology isn't there. So that was about the latest one thumbnail automations. So um, this, there are some really cool things about this. Um, as you can see, it's going to be per user here. So you get to you get to speak to people um, in your own conversation with them. And in this case, the um you know that from the different videos that they've commented on right so this last video was thumbnail automations review no code youtube automation and they said that they're just not sure about you know how you're going to be able to um, create a good uh, high ctr uh, thumbnail using you know automation and ai um thanks cool update um i'll just i need to edit that one right so can i edit from here um uh, so that's one thing that I'm not seeing that I'm able to do is Welcome back to I'm the click the three dots here, but I'm not seeing that I can actually edit a message in here. And so that's 
I guess, a little bit of a, an issue. Uh, you definitely want to be able to um, edit. So I would need to come in here and find that right over here. Cool, thanks for the update. I actually need to click the three dots over here and push edit and just say, using automation for thumb adjust a bit, probably not going to get a, but you will save a bunch of time. People that are creating videos per week. Great, especially channels. So that's a better answer. We'll come back over to Vista Social. Um, we'll see, um, this should change. Let's see what ends up happening to this because I edited it, edited it in YouTube. Um, I'm gonna go push refresh and um, it did not, doesn't look like it uh, did anything for us right there. It's not really refreshed. I don't know how often it refreshes, but we'll move on to somebody else. Wish I knew how to blog. Me too. Enter. And you're going to see it just pops up over here. And we go over here. We go over to Neil right here. You can see Neil's very active. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, and I've already responded. So it says unread. So I, I responded to that one. I responded to this one, but I love that. Uh, put those tools to use. So I didn't reply to this one. Yep, enter. Okay, so that one seemed like it didn't reply. I'm not sure what it replied to, but you saw that I pushed the unset as reply message. Um, okay, I think that the three dots, um, the, so basically, <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of figure this out. It To me, it's not really saving time for answering YouTube messages. If you like this threading, the way that you're seeing it right here, right? Um, this guy right here, don't know how to pronounce your name, Alamillo, Alamayo, you're very active as well and I appreciate you. Um, but we have all these comments right here. I don't know how I can reply to this specific one right here other than clicking on that and going to the actual video. So uh, in general, you do click over and you find, you know, the people that, uh, like for example, they commented right here, I already answered that, but it's showing up as the unread. So in a sense, I would say that this is a little cluttered and not as beneficial or organized. I think that the layout and the interface of this is very slick and very nice, <clears throat> but I personally, don't think I would use this, especially since I can come over here to my dashboard and I can just see the next person. Um, you know, David, can you do a software review on typing mind? Um, I will try, right? And push enter or push reply. And then once I refresh, I'll just go to dashboard and come back. You'll see that David Metcalf will go away and then see, so it goes away. So um, the one that I answered to did not answer this one right over here. And so for whatever reason, um, it didn't answer to the right one over here, wherever I was at. And so that's why I like using um, the native YouTube comments section, because I'm able to reply directly to that exact comment on that exact video to that exact uh, person. and you know, push refresh and then that one will go away, right? And so I can keep working down. And you can see, I just have a million comments that, I mean, wow, there's some threads going on over here. I love that you guys are going back and forth uh, with each other and I apologize that I'm not able to jump in here. Um, it just got out of hand. Uh, there's just, there's too much. And, you know, I can't really have a VA answer these questions for me because a lot of the information that I would be giving you would either be come from my expertise, my opinion, which you guys like, and that's why you're subscribed to Orn Wire. Um, if you, like, for example, if you ask me what my favorite tool is between two, I can't have a, my VA answer that on my behalf, right? I'd have to have some type of list. Um, you know, I'd have to have all these queued up answers and so forth. And I just have not gotten to that. And so um, you can see that this just keeps going. Um, I, I don't think I would ever be able to catch up with all the comments. Uh, that would just be impossible. What I do need to do is try to um, manage it, uh, you know, one video at a time. And if I could uh, certainly just 
come in. I mean, I can tell you right now it's getting to where, I mean, look at all these comments on just one video. I, it would take me a minimum of 30 minutes of my workday to answer um, all of the questions um, and comments that I'm getting uh, on a daily basis. Um, and so that's, I really do value all of you involved, value you when you comment. Um, I really uh, do need to try to get back to replying and answering to you guys. I really try the best that I can. Um, so if I've missed your comments, um, I really, really, uh, apologize. You can also email me. I'm really good at getting back, um, on email when it's very important. You guys can go to the, um, about, or, um, what is it? The about section on my YouTube channel and it does have my business email there and you can reach out if you needed to. All right. So back to Vista social, this is what it looks like. You're going to come in and you're going to see how many times, like this is a spammer right there. Uh, someone is commenting when you uh, click in here. Um, you're going to see like right over here, uh, this guy has, um, you know, commented a lot and I've tried to answer all of their questions as well. Okay. We had, a little bit of a back and forth right there, um, which is totally fine. But this is Vista Social. This is the inboxing section. I really enjoyed looking at the reports section. Um, and uh, really, I think that this is going to shine by going to the create and, uh, you know, creating content and posting it on, on Instagram, TikTok, and so forth. So hope that this uh, helped shed some light for me personally. I don't think I'm going to use this for YouTube to, you know, use the inbox section. I probably would use this. The here's the the good thing about this is that you can assign this if you have a VA, you can easily sign them up. You can um where is it? The quick add add a team member right here. So you can easily add your team member right here and then they could go in and manage all of your accounts. They'd go to inbox and they could manage all of your accounts. And that's where the true magic behind this really is going to shine. And at that case, you would make the adjustment. You would do this and you would make the adjustment. Absolutely. Um, but as a solopreneur um, and managing YouTube, I probably will use the, the native app right now. Um, but I do think it's cool that you can see the whole thread from uh, people as well. So overall, let me know what you guys think. If you think this is really, really cool or if you agree um, in my case, a particular case um, that using the native one um, would be better because I can also remove um, after I re respond to them, they can fall off. Right. And so I'm not um, kind of if you're looking at clutter, if you will. So. But overall, Vista Social, super, super awesome stuff. Uh, if you guys want more videos or I can uh, remember, uh, let me know if you guys think I should start a Twitter account and an Instagram and do all that stuff, right? It's just not really my forte. Uh, but if you guys feel like I'm missing out on opportunities and you guys would like to, if you guys spend more time on those other platforms and you wouldn't mind seeing some of my content on some of those other platforms, um, you know, 60 second videos, things like that, then, um, you know, I would, that, that's something I would definitely consider. And then I probably would really need a tool like Vista social to help me manage and schedule all that stuff. So hopefully guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, long tutorial uh, into, um, YouTube commenting and in, in deck, uh, inboxing and the report section of Vista Social. Um, you can use the link below. It's still available um, on AppSumo. This is definitely one of my favorite tools in the last month on AppSumo. I definitely recommend picking it up for social media automation and management. I will see you in the next video.